Oh, that's much nicer than I thought it would be. Hey, it's Rob from Wheelworks Bike Shop in Dublin. I think this is unboxing number four for the day. Um, this is another Madone. So this is the third Madone for the day. SLR9 ETAP Axis. So this is the top, 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 top for the range. Um, this is a friend of mine, a guy I know a long time. He's, uh, oh yeah, that's really cool. Oh, that's much nicer than I thought it would be. Yeah, okay, I like that. Um, he's a very good athlete. Um, raced with him years ago. And he's decided he's going to get himself a nice new Madone. So he's due into me tomorrow to get fitted on it. So we're going to do a quick unboxing video. And then we're going to get it in the workshop, get it prepped for him. We're going to change a few things on it uh, for him. Uh, we'll do a video when it's all done. We'll get weights and all that sort of stuff. So, so it's the, it's essentially a team issue bike, exactly as it is, bar a couple of small details. So it's a Madone SLR9 ETAP axis. So the SLR is the top of the range frame. Uh, the nine is in reference to the group set and the build. Uh, so nine would be either Dura Ace or SRAM Red. And then ETAP axis obviously means that this is the SRAM red one. Um, the, the 9 comes with Bontrager Aeolus RSL wheels, which is the top of the range wheels. We stated the 51s. The type of racing that he'll be doing on this is involves uh, there'll be hillier courses. So we didn't go for the 61s, which I'm, I tend to go with 61s because I just think they look cool. But the 51s will accelerate and climb a bit better. Um, so it's the blue team frame team colors and it's the it's a gloss blue and a satin black so it's a nice contrast um you got the team logos on the seat tube big white logo on the down tube And then you have nice details on the, the paint scheme, the inside of the fork legs and the back of the fork where the cam tail is, the aero profiling, uh, is, is the satin black and you've got the gloss on the front. So really nice details, the way they change is from not just blue to black, but gloss to, to a satin finish. And it's, it's the texture of it is different as well. So you can feel the difference in the texture. Um, just pop on the handlebar. Hopefully that foam doesn't blow too far away. It's a bit breezy today. Hopefully the microphone is still working. I forgot to charge it before we started, so I could be, you know, talking to the camera and no sound coming through on the video and we've just wasted 45 minutes unboxing bikes, but hopefully not. I should really check after we finish this one to see if everything is working. It When I'm doing these unboxings, very often I'm doing similar bikes one after another and I feel like I'm repeating myself a little bit but you probably haven't watched the last few videos that I put up because maybe they've gone up in the wrong order so I need to talk about the spec regardless of whether I spoke about it earlier or not so the uh, SRAM Red comes with Really nice carbon levers, lovely silver logos on it. Um, silver logos down here, carbon levers. The Madone comes with a nice one piece cockpit, and the new Madone bar is uh, it's staggered in so it's it's uh, narrower on the on the hoods at the top of the bar and it flares out to the drops. Uh, typically, it'll be a two to three centimeter. Uh, flare so it's like 39 42 um, and you've also got the corners are are cut around and the bar is tapered so that's sort of typically where we would stop with the bar tape where that ridge is so you'll bar tape up to here and then you leave the top of the bar exposed it's more aero to have the the top of the bar exposed the other benefit with carbon bars that you don't realize if you haven't ridden one is they're much warmer to hold in the winter that probably isn't a good thing if you live like in Singapore. Hey Janella if you're watching. Um, but 
you know, if you live in Dublin and you're riding in December or March, which is supposed to be spring, and it's real feel of one degree out today, a bar that's a little less cold that your fingers aren't sticking to is a, is a good thing. So, let's see. Excuse me, sniffling on the, on the soundtrack. You've got carbon cranks on the SRAM Red. Again, with the nice silver logos. Uh, you've got a power meter built in. Uh, Quark SRAM bought Quark power meters a number of years ago. They would have been one of the best power meter companies in the world. Um, and they now use them on all their group sets. So the SLR9 comes with the power meter as standard as does an SLR7 and an SLR6. When you get down to the lower level bikes, it's a, it's an optional add-on. So that's more or less that one unboxed. We've got RSL51 wheels. We've got Bontrager R340 uh, tires, which is their, their very light race tire. Um, SLR frame, SRAM red, ETAP axis. The dome cockpit. I think we went with an RSL saddle on this one, which is in the box somewhere. So when we do finish the build, we'll bring it out, we'll do some weights, and we'll do a full review on it. So if you like the video, and if you've gotten this far, maybe hit subscribe or like or comment or tell me what you think of it. Do you like the color? All that sort of stuff helps uh, helps us be found by more people.